Good afternoon, guys. Good evening. God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Um, so today's video is about rinseless washing. So if you've never done rinseless washes like me, hey, stay tuned because we're both going to be learning a little bit today. Alrighty, let's get started, guys. So if you've never done rinseless washing <coughs> like myself, um, definitely um, we're going to be learning together. All right. When I went to Hawaii, obviously I met my good friend Erwin uh, with Rinse uh, Auto Detailing and we uh, did a video actually. I'll be posting a video towards the end if you guys want to see that a little bit on how he showed me how to do rinseless washing, right? So um, today we're going to be doing our first rinseless wash uh, but before i get started i want to tell you guys a little bit of what you may be needing and again uh if you if i miss something hey leave it down on the comments you know let me know what i missed um, but i purchased everything that i saw uh from my good friend erwin's uh, so that's what i bought so you're gonna be needing at least three gallons of distilled water is what i'm using you're gonna be needing i purchased this dirt lock grit guard all right and i also purchased a chemical guys uh bucket and this one just goes right in there <coughs> and you're going to be needing a i'm going to be using mckee's 37 and 14 rinseless wash uh, because that's what we use in the video and the famous black sponge all right uh, we're going to be using this sponge for the rinseless process and as well as uh, Erwin did show, tell me a drying aid. So for this video, we're going to be using Kinetic um, by Total Detailing uh, with Gabe Fletcher out in uh, PA. And this is a extremely slick detail spray clay and lube. So that's what we're going to be using uh, for this video. So let's get started. Alrighty guys. So as you guys can see in front of you guys, this is what we're going to be using for today's rinseless wash. So let me just kind of guide you or tell you a little bit of what I'm going to be using as well as if I miss anything guys, Hey, let me know in the comments down below. This is me, my first rinseless wash. So uh, be very patient on uh, how I do things. I'm slowly learning this process and we're going to get better as I go, of course. Right. Um, but anyways, uh, as you guys can see, we're going to be using uh, three gallons of distilled water. All right. You're also going to need a wash bucket. All right. So this is the chemical guys. Uh, I ordered it off chemical guys because that's what Erwin had. So I ordered that and he also had a dirt lock. Uh, this is a grit. Uh, this pretty much will help you uh, with keeping all the dirt down under there. Uh, and by far, this is the best one I have researched as well as Erwin recommended it. So I definitely got that as well. And next up is you're going to need a solution for your rinseless. And we're going to be using uh, McKee's, and McKee's 37 and 14 rinseless wash, as well as you're also going to be needing the famous black sponge, right? Uh, and then Erwin said I would need a drying aid as well. So for this, uh, for this process, we're going to be using a total detailing kinetic. This is by uh, Mr. Gabe Fletcher out in PA. Uh, this is his his product line all right and i pretty much filled it into that bottle uh, i did about maybe this much uh, product and the rest distilled water all right so let's get started on my first rinse list. all right so first thing first uh, is we gotta fill this bucket up and i put the the grid guard all the way to the bottom nice and tight and we're going to use three gallons of this water And the reason we're using distilled water, guys, I could be wrong, is obviously to help with the water spotting. Um, I don't use a DI tank, so I want to make sure that this helps. And from what everybody has said is, is it will stop the water spotting using the distilled water. So that's why I'm doing it. And as well, I use distilled water for my uh for my steamer so we're gonna do three gallons of this and 
and one more. Man, that's literally gonna fill up the whole bucket. Dang, that legit filled up the whole bucket. All right, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I didn't overpour. And then guys, you're gonna be needing uh, a, your solution. So, <clears throat> so I'm not really good with dilutions guys. So I'm gonna do two caps of this. One, two caps for three gallons. All right. And next up, guys, we're going to throw our, our black sponge in here. So I hope I did it right. Like I don't see, I don't see bubbles, but so I, I hope I'm doing it correctly. All right. So we're going to start. Alrighty guys, so my fiance is finally home. So we're gonna start with the body. Uh, we're gonna start with the body and I'm gonna be using this blue towel for the drying process. Um, so let's get started guys. So what I ended up doing is I gave my vehicle a rinse and man, my car, my truck was a dirty guys. So uh, I ended up switching the water uh switching the water and um i'll show you guys we have clear 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 water but let's get started um the time is now let's say it's four 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 o'clock right now it's 355 so we'll just say four um but i'm going to start with the body um I'm going to start with the body of the car and I'm going to do the wheels and tires last. So, all right, so let's see how long it takes me. So again, the time is 4 p.m. And we're going to give this baby a thorough wash. And I'm kind of doing it the way I saw my friend Erwin do it. And that is kind of how I want to follow up. It feels slick, so I definitely like the way it feels. The temperature right now, I think we're in the, we're in the like 95s, I think. And I think you just want it to be dripping just enough. Again, this is my first time doing a rinseless, so as the more I do, I will get better with it. Again, I'm using Kinetic by Total Detailing out in PA. And it's leaving like a nice, um, slick feel to it. I'm definitely liking that, to be honest. But we'll keep going. Like I said, I'm going to leave the wheels 
and the tires more towards the very end. And you don't have to use a towel this big if you don't want. I'm just using it because it's been like my go-to drying towels. And let me get my ladder and we'll keep going. All right, we are back. Windshield time. So far, I'm really uh, enjoying this method. It's crazy I'm saying that because I'm used to a power washer. But to be honest, guys, this is not taking me very long. It is not taking me very long to do very quick and I think I like it because even though it's hot I feel like I'm not really like rushing my work if that makes sense this rinseless is really making um, it, it really makes it slick and the product itself I know there's some stuff in it that makes it very easy to to clean so super excited about that so i'm gonna end up kind of doing the whole car i'll bring you guys once i'm finished with the actual time that it took me to do this car so we'll be back with the finished product and a little bit of my input on rinseless washing Alrighty guys, it's now 420 guys, 420. I have already <coughs> washed uh, the whole vehicle and now we are to the uh, wheel cleaning, all right? So I was literally kind of here thinking like, how in the world do I clean wheels when they are dirty, right? So I really wanted to do a video where I'm strictly only using you know this rinseless wash method all right so i left the wheels last and <coughs> what i'm using here is a uh, super clean diluted about four to one all right so i'm gonna go ahead and and next thing i'm gonna do is uh grab my brush hopefully And there you go. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even gonna stop that video. We're just gonna keep going. All right. What I have in this bucket is some soap. I got some soap in this bucket. All right. And I got my microfiber, guys my towel and in this bucket guys I just threw a little bit of soap and um, one scoop of the rinseless wash for this video we're only going to be doing 
the faces, guys. All right. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it with this rinseless stuff. As is, and same thing for the wheel. Very simple, guys, like that. And that's that. Then I'll grab my any microfiber that you might have and just wipe the wheel off. And that's it. I tell you, this, this chair has been the death of me. I think this is the second time I have fallen. Oh, well, you guys saw it live. All right. And there you go. This wheel is done. Uh, some people like to wipe the tire off. I usually just let the uh, I just let the tire dry on its own, just because I'll just let the sun do the work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all these four wheels and using this method. And I'll bring you guys in with the final product. Alrighty guys, so it is now 4 p.m., 4.34 actually, 4.34. Literally has taken me about 34 minutes to do this vehicle completely, guys. Rinseless only, no power washer, no nothing, guys. Um, overall input on this, I am very impressed to be honest. Um, for my first time, uh i'm very impressed on what a rinseless wash can do to be honest uh the products obviously that we use were the black sponge uh, i purchased this on amazon so i'm going to be posting links on all of these down below <coughs> so we use a black sponge we use mckee's n37 uh mckee's 37 sorry n14 rinseless wash uh this one is a four-in-one formula hyper concentrated eco-friendly and this one also has benefits to um you can use it as a rinseless wash, waterless wash, as a clay lubricant, and as a paint prep, one to eight. So that's pretty cool. Um, my thoughts on this product, obviously I'm very new to this. This is the first product I've ever tried. Um, talking to my friend Erwin out in uh, Hawaii. Erwin, I miss you, buddy. Um, he introduced me to McKees 37. Um, and just before I left, um, he had bought me a O&R, um, but I left it over there just for, for him to have it. Uh, to keep it um, I think he had said that it was leaving like some residue on r and so I, you know like I said that I don't know much about rinseless washing but I went ahead and bought this one <coughs> I bought everything that I saw that day on the video or oh, well obviously when I was with Irwin and I put it all together two gallons of distilled water into this chemical guys bucket this water is dark now um, so I, I can't wait to I'm gonna let the water just kind of I guess all this stuff kind of go down and then I'll probably come back and kind of empty it out. I'm more excited to see how this works. Um, overall, the paint, I feel like that rinseless leaves a, uh, it, it's slick. Obviously with the, with the rinseless formula and kinetic that I was using, uh, it just gives it that nice slick feel. All right. Um, as you guys saw, I did the wheels and the tires all rinseless. And this was just my method that I thought right now. Um, and hopefully, maybe it's something that you might in, uh, put into your rinse and washing technique. I don't know. Um, but definitely in the comments, if you've watched this far, let me know what you guys think. Um, if I did something wrong, maybe the, the form. <coughs> uh, definitely let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, obviously, I did it today how my friend showed me. Uh, and that's how I did it literally today. Uh, and I felt it went very well. All right. So I hope today's video uh, somehow kind of... <laughs> It probably entertained you towards the end uh, with me falling. Uh, but I hope this video in a way kind of helped you guys out. Um, maybe understand rinseless washing. I definitely understand this product now. I understand a little bit of what it's supposed to do and what kind of cars I will use it. So for sure I'm going to be using these on maintenance clients that I service every other weeks uh, because the, the vehicle should be clean, right? Garage kept vehicles. If you're a do-it-yourself person that loves to wash your vehicle and you don't have a power washer or you live in an apartment where you know you don't have 
water source or maybe they don't let you wash your car there rinseless washing is really a good way to go um, and it's very inexpensive um, to be honest um, but <coughs> overall happy wednesday guys i hope today's video helped you guys out uh, i know it definitely helped me out in understanding this product a little bit or this method uh, i'm very excited for what's to come with this rinseless washing i'm definitely going to keep trying it out um, but i'm excited Overall, you guys have a blessed day. God bless y'all. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.